The following is a non-profit Let's Play. Even though it does comprise of music owned by artists and all of its intellectual properties, this is a fair use. Although AdRev and Vivo will not try to abide by this. They'll put ads on the video or block it. If this video is not blocked, make sure that they don't get the satisfaction of having ads by using ad blocker on every single part. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part 18 of Saints Row the Third. And this episode, we're going to eliminate the Deckers once and for all as far as the territories is concerned. But we're still focusing on the Stag missions before we take on the Deckers actual storyline missions. And I can't believe I missed those guys. That's okay. That's okay. That has to be embarrassing. We got him that time, bastards. Yeah. I still got some unfinished business with these guys. Because we have about maybe five more of those to find. Yeah, five more gang operations, ladies and gentlemen. Go figure. And we won't have to worry about gang operations for the Deckers anymore. Let alone anybody else, because we already eliminated the Luchadors. We eliminated the uh, Morningstar. So, quite frankly, 95% of the entirety of Steelport belongs to us. Or should I say, was it 85? It was 85. But we'll fix that problem pretty soon. I mean, at least we'll fix that problem by the end of this part. In the meantime, let me just try to get in close and wreck these guys. And there you go. And that makes 28. Fantastic, ladies and gentlemen. So all I need to do is try to find the rest of these guys. Hmm, I think there was one. Uh... I think there was a gang territory right here, I don't believe. Hold on. Give me a second. When I find one, I'll come right back, because, yeah. I basically did that without my notes. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Now it's time for us to... Oh, by the way, that always happens when I start the recording. Time for us to deal with this gang territory right here. Come on. They're almost dead. They're almost dead. One more. One more. Got him. All right. We only got like maybe three more left. So we just got to find the... Oh, God. Wow. Wow. Um. Wow. I'm fucking that up. Ooh. I think I messed up my Vizel. Yeah, that's terrible. So let's go on ahead and find my... 30th gang territory to take over. So let's get away from this uh, power plant here and head straight over to the next uh, gang controlled operation. Hey, hey, this way, this way. Just a little bit more, and I just need to show up and try to get a little bit low so I could get the drop on them before they all scatter and run. Eh, a little bit lower. A little bit lower. Ah, there they are. And there they go. God damn it, Glitch. Ah, I'll come back. Alright, I found myself another gang territory. This one would be right over here. As a matter of fact, they should be showing up right about... Oh god, I forgot I have a level 4 gang notoriety with the Deckers. Let's just get rid of these guys. Oh, come on! Damn it! You ruined it! You ruined it! Okay, fine. I just found one. We'll just have to go down south, because I think there is a gang operation around the south area if I'm not mistaken so with that said I'll be right back once again I went against my notes it's an Ashwood right next to a photo opportunity 
Sorry about that. It's not misinformation, but I did find a Decker's territory south, down south. That was the one that was right next to Shandy's house. So with that said, ladies and gents, <coughs> I'm going to put up the veto for right now. Sorry, there was something in my throat. And I will get it repaired so that I will have to uh, go after the last two uh, Decker's operations on foot. So much for asshole in the veto. It will be, like, put in the hangar for now. And I had to wait a couple of hours before that gang operation came back. I literally woke up early in the morning. See, I didn't even put any clothes on. Just a robe and some bunny slippers. And now I'm going to have to go after these, uh, deckers because they're jerks. Oh, by the way, I managed to get some upgrades. Like, the Death Blossom... I now am dual wielding Death Blossoms because, well, actually, dual wielding SMGs in general because I got that off screen. I also managed to upgrade my flashbang to a fart in a jar, even though that really isn't necessary for the last battle of the game. Um, I just upgraded it to a fart in a jar. Also, I upgraded the shotgun, I upgraded the rifle, and I think I upgraded the grenades too, so that is a thing. Time for me to run away from all this bullet fire and head straight for my hideout, which is this um, friendly fire that I happen to buy off of the Deckers. And this is the last gang operation, ladies and gentlemen. And let me assure you one thing. Once the gang operations are done, the only thing I have left to show off, which will probably be several parts down the line, would be the hard to reach um, collectibles that happen to be in places that you can't reach by conventional means. And I have defeated all the gang operations, which, by the way, Gang operations and collectibles are a part of 100%. I keep reminding you because you don't really have to do anything else extra. And speaking of, uh, well, not just gang operations, but also activities too. And speaking of activities, we're about to finish just about all of them. This part, actually. I have finished Cyber Blazing, the hardest incarnation of it, and we managed to get... The very bike that we were riding throughout Cyber Blazing. It's a pretty cool bike. Uh, I don't know if it's durable or not, but... I do know this! We have 91% of the Decker's territory in our hands. So, bravo on that. Now then... It's time for us to finish up this last snatch. Which, by the way, will get us something rather interesting for a reward by completing the snatch we end up getting cops you heard me cops as homies i have no words for that but you'll be seeing saints that are cops instead of actual cops if you actually equip them as your game now then with that said it's time for us to have a stag party that means we're going to have to piss off Stag, because Stag is coming for Josh Burke. Speaking of Josh Burke, yeah, I punched him in the face. Mission complete. And now Shondi wants to kill him. I don't blame Shondi. I don't blame Shondi one bit. But I do know this. I think it's after this mission where Stag will start being more aggressive. You might as well just stay away from Lorenz Square if you haven't already completed it. But if, no, if you've already completed it. If you haven't, well, it's going to be the beginning of the end of City Lockdown. No, it's going to be the beginning of City Lockdown, sorry. And the beginning of the end of you having to come to Lorenz Square. Because after this mission, my god. Yeah, you can still come to Lorenz Square, but you'll be met with hostility. And more importantly, Stag will be on high alert. 
So anything you do, even if it's an accidental running into a tree, or even going to your garage, shit will just go out, go completely foobar. Just saying. Put the gun down. I won't run. Yeah, I'm good. I felt that the moment we met. That connection. What? Forbidden love. Oh my god, can I just shoot this guy? Sean D. Play nice now. You got the stuff, Pierce? Allow me, friend. You did that on purpose. All right. Let's go stag hunting. Well, Oleg and Pierce playing chess is going to be a running gag they'll show up one more time. There's one running gag that's never going to stop. And that's me pissing off Stag. Why? Because they deserve it. I mean, Monica Hughes brought these guys into town. It's only fair that we run them out. Just like we're trying to do to Syndicate. I mean, we almost got those guys out of town as far as the territories are concerned. But the Deckers themselves... Oh, we're far from doing that just yet. I mean, that's going to be actually next part because this is the last stag mission we could do for now. So anyway, we're going to be driving over to the PR Center with infinite Molotovs. Now, here's the thing. If you powered up your Molotovs, this will actually make antagonizing stag in the PR Center a hell of a lot easier because you'll be able to throw them farther and they'll do more damage. However, I only got like a level 2 Molotov, so I'm going to have to be up close. That means I'm going to end up being in the heart of a stag ambush. So we're going to have to burn the stag banners just to piss off stag. Um, here is the thing. I did mention, like, couple of parts ago about Kia being a bland character. Now, I'm pretty sure people want to know why I think that. The thing is, Kia, like every other lieutenant that doesn't join the Saints, oh god, I just got shot out of a car. How the hell did that happen? Yeah, and I'm still in my uh, morning attire. I mean, I haven't gotten out of bed just yet. Well, I did because Dag is coming our way, but still... <clears throat> Well, as far as lieutenants go, if they are joining the Saints like the Winter Sisters were supposed to, both of them anyway, and, um, like, Benjamin King in the very first game, and even, Do well, actually, Donnie didn't join us. No, Donnie didn't join us. He went into hiding. But, if they don't join the Saints, they're either in hiding or they end up dead. Which is most of the time what's going to happen with not only the lieutenant, but the leader as well. Saints World 4 kind of retcons the bad ending of this game, which involves Cyrus Temple. And Kia, on the other hand, how shall I put this? Kia is going to die regardless of the ending. So yeah, she's really is a bland character. And to make things worse, I just showed Stag my Diamond D ass by... Giving them the sign of hustle, loyalty, and respect. But that's not all. What I was saying was... <clears throat> when it comes down to Kia... Her name is practically an acronym for Killed in Action. So that's actually a walking spoiler. But her reason for being in the stag happens to stem from Saints Row 2. When Aisha was... Well, actually, no, Saints Row 1, not Saints Row 2. When Aisha was supposedly killed by the Saints in an explosion, that's what caused her to join Stag. When in reality, that was a fake death, unlike the real death in Saints Row 2. Fuck you, Shogo, by the way. And I'm only saying this because all we're doing is just blasting Stag with a rocket launcher. There's rocket launcher ammo right behind you that will always spawn uh, until we get to a moment where we're going to have to leave the building. No but anyway, I'll watch this side for trouble. let me just pick up the rocket launcher ammo and go after 
uh, Viola, who is being attacked right now. I mean, Stag actually do uh, appear and attack your enemies. I mean, your allies, sorry. Well, kind of enemy as far as Viola, Viola is concerned. But he, they do attack your allies, and if you don't save Viola, like she'll end up dying. Because, of course, the homie heal doesn't have anything to do with the fact that they are a part of your homies. So, yeah, there is that. But as I was saying, her reasoning again for being a stag member was the fact that Aisha died. Or at least she thought Aisha died. And then again, fuck you Shogo because she actually did die in Sinkor 2. But, that's kind of a bland reason because there's a lot of people who had a grudge against the Saints because of Aisha's death. Yeah, of course, I had to do a little victory. Oh god, I got shot by another sniper, didn't I? But what makes this uh, character so bland is the fact that she's got this forced tough guy act. I mean... It's kind of sad, really. And to make things even worse, I do believe she's the voice of Brad. I mean, the same person who voices her also voice voices uh, Captain Braddock from Agents of Mayhem. That just makes things even worse, I suppose. Anyway, now we actually come to the point of interest. We're just blowing up stag tanks now because these tanks are going to be firing on us, and, well, we can't have that, how can we? So, we're gonna have to constantly go back and fill up our ammo. Hold on, let me just upgrade that. Maybe, just maybe, I'll be able to do so- Oh, wait, that's right, I'm supposed to upgrade the rocket launcher, not the ammo. Oh. If I would've focused on uh, upgrading the rocket launcher, I would've at least had some ammo to work with. Not to mention, coming in with a level 4 rocket launcher would really help, considering that level 4 rocket launcher also has, um, I do believe, heat-seeking rockets? Yeah, kinda wish I had that, but, um, I didn't buy that. I didn't have the money for it, so, I'll end up getting the money for it later. Much, much, oh god! Damn Crusaders. Alright. I think one more shot should do. Ha! Take that, bitches! Oh, I gotta go back and defend the north now. Ah, uh, all these multi-kills. They just gives me so much respect points. I mean, you could gain at least two or three levels by just killing these, um... Uh, Oh, wait, I gotta go to an elevator now. Hello, Crap. That sucks. We're gonna have to save Pierce. But that's what I'm saying. You can gain a lot of experience just by blowing up stag vehicles. Oh, and I blow up my own vehicle. Goddamn. Oh. Um. Yeah. That, that happened. That happened. So, let's go and rescue Pierce. He's on fire. We gotta save him. And now that we've went to Pierce, Pierce has me to go back to the HQ. Oh, God. Well, good news is at least we don't have to worry about brutes. Oh, wait. There really is somebody in there? No, never mind. I, I just killed that person. He's dead. But let's just head back to the Saints HQ so we can test out my new toy. Oh, it's a laser targeting system. this to is going to be fun. Ooh, ooh, Ladies and gentlemen, I like to give you the airstrike weapon. I mean, I know I was talking about uh, the reason why I hate Kia more than the mission. But this is the interesting part here. For now, you have infinite ammo of airstrike ammo. And my god, using it for this mission is fantastic. I mean, 
Words cannot describe how awesome it is to just tag an aircraft and watch several tanks get blown to oblivion. It is so awesome. Too bad it only works for high areas. And if you happen to be caught in the explosion, unless you've got explosive the damage protection and explosive damage protection, no ragdoll, you're gonna be blown the fuck up. Now, if you have those abilities, you could just sit back, pull out this lovely airstrike weapon, no, airstrike marker, sorry, and just blast every last person in town and watch the fireworks. It would be amazing. Too bad you can't take this thing in mayhem because this thing is the only weapon that you have for this mission. Actually, no, this this airstrike marker is actually the only uh, weapon you have available. Actually, no, it's not the weapon you have available during... Oh god, I'm trying to think of what to say. Okay. And now VTOLs have come in. But as I was saying, the airstrike weapon is actually the only weapon that you have that you can't take into mayhem because, again, it's only unlocked after this mission. It would make this mission a hell of a lot easier, that's for damn sure. So, with that said, we just destroy it VTOLs until it's time for us to leave. Which, unfortunately, looks like it's going to be uh, time for us to leave. We're going to have to stop Stag from coming. Because they've already breached the observation deck. Sons of bitches. Yeah, we're going to kill them. And we're going to kill them dead. Oh, wait. I do have a fart in a jar, don't I? Time to show that off. Someone had better buy me a drink. Ah, fart in the jars are so hilarious. God damn it! Take one of those. Hey, die! Really lost step. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. There's another form of stack troops that you need to kill as well. That'll show up a little later, and they're kind of tougher than the stack specialists because the stack okay, specialists only run around with shields. It's the stack commandos. Oh boy. It's going to be after the mission where you, well, cause a zombie apocalypse, that the stack commandos will be more prevalent, especially at level 5. Those guys can be assholes. Now it's time for us to go to the penthouse and pick up some weapons on the way down. I mean, on the way up, sorry. Now, we're going to have to go to Shandi. Cause this is where the mission comes to an end. I love doing that. Surrender, kid. We got the perimeter. Yeah? We got your poster boy. I want Stag out of my city. Not gonna happen. Zag's mission is to eradicate the gangs of Steelport. Well, where to focus the firepower is my call. At least Birkin will hammer the Syndicate for a while. Give you boys a little breathing room. How you want to play it? So, for this, you have no two choices. Either keep Josh and have him as a homie, or give Josh the stag, and which is what I'm going to do, and have a uh, city takeover. Either way... You're going to have un all sorts of problems because you're going to have to jump off the building because Stag is going to destroy the penthouse because they're assholes. Kia, do you read me? I see congratulations are in order, Commander. Not quite. The Saints are still at large. I'm sending some intel over. I need leverage on the Saints. Bring in the target for questioning. They're going to run to ground. Digging them out won't be easy. If it were easy, I wouldn't waste your time. Understood, sir. I'll find her. Bland! But in all honesty, folks, I just lost my penthouse, you sons of bitches! No, seriously, we didn't. We 
can always go back there. But it's going to be much more hostile after this. And also, we got a city takeover for our troubles. And a SAT airstrike gun as well. But the city takeover is going to be a little bit different than the city takeover of your abilities. The city takeover of your abilities... Oh yeah, and I got an achievement for that. <clears throat> anyway, the city takeover with your abilities takes over an entire portion of a turf. Stag only takes over one hood. What kind of bullshit is that? You know what? I hate Heli Assault, so let's just get rid of this instance of Heli Assault. Heli Assault. I mean, screw it. <sighs> God damn it. So that means we have 2% left. I shouldn't have jumped for joy. I mean, there's only 99%. Well, it's 99% complete as far as Steelport is concerned. But as far as for the Deckers, they're 98% gone. We need them 100% gone. And you know what that means? Uh, fuck Stag. Fuck Stag. Why did I have to go to this god-awful mission? Sounds like I'm whining, but I'm not. Nonetheless, this is on medium. I, I didn't get the hard version. Because here's the thing. If I would have beat this hard version, we would have gotten this helicopter here. But nonetheless, folks, we are done here with all of the territories, actually. It is 100% steel port control. What's wrong? Nothing. I ordered pancakes. Is that a euphemism or something? Well, since we pretty much drove the doctors out of Steelport, I thought it'd be, you know, normal. You mean like going more than five blocks from your place? Well, let's not get crazy. You should try it sometime. I have. It's overrated. Well, just wanted to check in. Okay. Call if you need me. And with that said, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you guys next time on Saints Row the Third as I show off that Steelport is 100% mine and all that's left for actual 100% completion in the game is collectibles. But we'll focus on that later. But for now, we're going to have to pick a fight with the Deckers by actually raiding in on Kilbane's TV interview. Yeah, remember that Montreal screw job? We'll be seeing that in Part 19. See you guys next time.